Hi class, as we talked about earlier, I wanted to give you a little update about the um, mini study proposal that is due at the end of this week. Now, in your discussion board, you've already classmate that you're going to want to interview them about a topic that's of interest to them. And what you're going to be doing in this mini study proposal is beginning to do the literature review on this topic. You can't go and interview someone just on a topic in general and say, hey, talk to me about your experiences with, um, you know, camping. You want to be a bit more specific to create a study, which means you're going to need to have a research questions. You're going to need to be um, looking for some information that you're going to get from this little mini that is going to be useful if you were doing research. Um, obviously, the topics are going to be more hobby based, you know, career, life experience, um, and you're only interviewing for 15 minutes. So we don't need to have um, a great depth to this. We're not trying to answer, you know, the the question, the meaning of life question or anything like that. But what really we're doing is trying to understand or better understand a specific aspect of the hobby or career or life experience that you're going to be talking to this person about. So part of then the literature review aspect of this or the the research you can find on the topic is to help you learn what you need to learn to be able to narrow it. So if you're doing research on banking or being a banker or model trains or changing a career, um, look for articles about that and see what those researchers asked. What were their research questions? What were they interested in? Um, and you need to try to find academic research, even though I know something like being a banker, you're not going to find a direct maybe academic article on what it's like to be a banker, but you may find an academic article on some aspect of banking, like is it dominated by men or do women can women succeed in a, the role of banker? Um, what are some of the, you know, there's probably research on ethics involved in banking or uh, some other aspect of being a banker that they have done academic research on. The same is true for model trains or and in an example of a hobby like model trains, you may not find an academic article about model trains specifically, but you may find academic articles about the collection of trains or the hobby of collecting trains so that you could then find out about the person who is doing the collection of the trains and some is, some academic articles about that. The main thing is you just want to get a general knowledge of the subject so you can write this proposal. And in the proposal, you'll do an introduction where you introduce um, the topic that you're going to be talking about. Um, and basically, you're going to, in the introduction, you're going to combine, you can really combine A and B together where you're going to talk about the topic and just give me a little background information about why you chose that topic, what is your interest in it, that kind of thing. And then you're going to do a summary of the research that you found on the topic. So you're going to go through the research and do a little mini literature review um, on that topic. And again, you may need to go out a little bit further. So maybe if you can't find a lot of articles about um, the, the hobby of collecting trains, maybe you could find some academic articles just about hobbies in general, the need for hobbies, why do we have hobbies, stuff like that. So you can go out a little bit further to gather the information you need to bring in some more sources to this paper. And then you're going to want to work up three research questions. Remember, these questions need to be general and broad. But since we're only doing a 15 minute interview, obviously, you don't want them to be all encompassing. So what is what is the whole history of modern trains would not be a research question you'd want to look at. Um, and think about your topic. If you're doing a phenomenology, then the research question should be talking about the lived experience of X. What is the lived experience of people who have collected model trains? That kind of thing. If you are doing a, um, a case study, it might be, you know, how is this case, blah, 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 or that kind of thing. Just kind of look at other studies that have used these methodologies and see how they form their research questions. And you may have one research question and a couple of sub questions. But remember, research questions are not interview questions. So you will develop a very more specific interview questions when you get to that point. 
Um, identify the qualitative framework that you're going to use, which again, you've done in the discussion board. You're welcome to reuse that material. And then talk about the ethical issues and how they might be mitigated. So what ethical issues could come up? You know, is there good, is there issues with power, class, race, privilege, anything like that? Are there issues with, um, your lack of knowledge? Um, and could you be offensive? Those kind of things I want you to think about. Um, are you getting consent? How are you protecting their identity? These are ideas you're going to have to consider as part of the ethical issues. Um, you may, for example, in your study, you may want to give the classmate a pseudonym. Now, I'm the only one that's going to read this study, so their identity is safe. However, to, to practice this skill, that's one of the things you do in, in a study is you don't do anything that could possibly identify the participants but you were, but it's important to note there's a difference between anonymity and confidentiality, and it's almost impossible to um, guarantee anonymity in a qualitative study because knowing enough about the setting and knowing enough about what is being said, it is possible someone could figure out who the person is. That's why we only guarantee confidentiality in um, qualitative studies, not anonymity. And then a conclusion. Obviously, this is going to be a PA, um, typical double space, 12 point New Time Roman, five to seven pages. You're going to want to make sure that you're indenting your paragraphs and double spacing everything. No extra spaces. So learn how to use styles. Learn how to use the paragraph button to remove any spaces after the paragraph. You're going to need at least three peer reviewed academic articles for this paper. And you can bring in other sources if you want to bring in some um, articles or some newspapers from reliable sources to bring in some extra stuff to layer on what you're finding academically. So again, you're wanting to narrow this topic down to something that you can study that this person has experience with in the way that your methodology allows for. And you're going to do this by interviewing the person for 15 minutes and then coding and um, abstracting that data into themes. So keep that in mind. You may want to look ahead to the final paper just to see the things that you're going to need for that. But this is a proposal. So this is just step one in the steps going towards the final paper. Let me know if you, as always, let me know if you have any questions and have a good rest of your week.